Hello there, Ken Nokorob here, and welcome to the long-awaited, definitive, new-in-town survival Let's Play series. We are going to get started here in this brand new survival world, which, from just looking around, looks to be pretty solid. We've got a nice, wide open plains over there, it looks like, a dark forest over here, which will be very nice, a ruined portal, which we'll, I think, go and probably check out first while we start collecting our initial resources. Um, yeah, looks like we're going to be in great shape for this uh, playthrough. Um, as I said, this will be the New in Town Let's Play series. I'll be playing with my data pack, New in Town, uh, in addition to a few others, which I'll get to in a short bit. A pretty good ruin down. Oh, hello, chicken. Ooh, good loot. Ooh, fire aspect on that sword. Get some cooked food right away. An axe, okay. That'll accelerate our in fortune three on an axe. How super useful is that? I feel like not very. That's okay. Go ahead and collect that chest and get started on our resource collection here. Go ahead and smack that chicken. No feather from him. That's okay. Um, but yes, yeah, so we'll be playing with the new in town data pack. So we'll be uh, starting a settlement and uh, settling down in these plains, these wild meadows here. Um, and uh, developing a town. So if you're unfamiliar with the new in town data pack, it is uh, the settler's experience data pack, um, where you start with a settler's wagon, uh, which we are about to get the town charter for right now from our first oak log. So when we use this town charter, once we're ready, um, then we will get our settler's wagon built around us. And from there, we will expand outwards and develop a town, uh, which we will then have to protect uh, from uh, it, uh, yeah, opposing forces. Uh, it's a bit of a tough word, not really, but <laughs> let's chop down a few trees here to get started before we build our town, or start our town, I should say. We've got a long way to go before we actually build our town. Mm, okay, two saplings is plenty. Come over here, see if we get any apples or anything for some food. And then uh, do a little bit of inventory management shortly here. Hop on over here. Checking all these pools for coal if we can uh, get lucky enough. It doesn't look like we're going to have a lot of exposed cliffs around here. Uh, maybe in that swamp that looks like it's over there. Um, and I want to get some coal pretty quickly because we're going to be pretty out in the open uh, and we may not find any sheep uh, to get a bed started uh, very quickly. So let's see, we've got 24 longs, which is usually what I like to start with. Um, let's look around here for a nice good spot to start our town. So right over there, we've got the hills on either side. I'm not a big fan of that because we're going to end up with uh, some high... Uh, sheer cliffs of dirt, which doesn't look very nice. So I don't want to settle over there, but I also don't want to settle too close to them, or that kind of blocks off a whole section that we can't expand through, uh, again, without looking kind of ugly about it. Over here is looking like a nice flat area. I'm going to get these pumpkins real quick. Does fortune work on pumpkins? I feel like it does not. Nope. That's not entirely surprising. Some pigs, but no sheep, unfortunately. Oh, and there goes the axe. I shouldn't have expected too much out of it, of course. Uh, it was gold. Um, but it did kind of accelerate our, our start, which is very much appreciated. Collect those pumpkins here. Oh, there's some sheep. Wow, we are getting very lucky with this. Okay, so let's get some wool right off the bat, as well as some cooked mutton. And uh, that way we'll be able to start a bed shortly here. Of course, the wagon will have a, a wool cover over it, but I don't like to tear that down personally. Um, I like to keep it intact, at least until I get a resource silo. So let's see, I feel like right around here is looking like an okay spot. We've got just this little dip here. We've got a bit of a hill over there, but not super big until it gets to the swamp. Lots of space over here and over here. And we can even probably squeeze out a building or two right here before we start going down to those lower hills. So I think right around here is looking like a solid place to start our town. Maybe I like having the pool right nearby. Let's let's do right here. So we'll use our town charter, give it a moment to, to set everything up for us. And here we go. There is our settler's wagon. So if you're unfamiliar, as I said, with the new in town data pack, 
From this settler's wagon, we will expand outward by way of these site planners. Uh, so we'll input items into these recipe into the site planners like uh, crafting recipes, and that will construct buildings for us. Ooh, oh, that appears to be the floating island, which we will get to at some point later. It's nice that it's very close, uh, but we are not remotely ready for that yet. Um, to get the recipes, uh, as I was saying, to put into the site planner, we will have to commune with the town planner. The town planner will sell us the settlement site recipe books for a single feather, which is quite cheap. However, I am going to need to find some chickens that are willing to give me some feathers, uh, as that first chicken clearly was not. But first, let's go ahead and get started with a little bit of inventory management. So open this up. We have three building permits to start off with. Um, I am going to put those in this chest as sort of our valuables chest, uh, or semi-valuables. Mm, fire charges aren't that valuable. We'll keep the flint and steel on us. Um, put the sapling down there, cook chicken here. Pumpkins can go there for now. I am going to put these swords away. Not a huge need for them at this very moment. Uh, and let's go ahead and craft up some logs and planks. I like to have, personally, an even 64. Mm, looks like we're not quite going to get there, but that's okay. Uh, I don't want to uncraft this log if I don't need to, if it's going to produce too much. Um, so we'll go ahead and just plop it into our uh, little hopper there. We'll go ahead and craft our bed as well. Get a respawn point set up so that we don't have to be too concerned as we explore for our first bit of coal, uh, as well as a chicken, as I said. Um, so let's go over to this... Oh, I should probably craft a pickaxe if we're going to be looking for coal. Get a pickaxe started here. We'll hold on to this wheat, keep it in there, because that is useful. We will need to start uh, a small farm at some point. But let's go over to the swamp, see if we can find a chicken. Uh, and some coal, and uh, hopefully some sugarcane as well. Get that started nice and early. Let's see. Ooh, some pretty bright flowers right there. Oh, here's some chickens. All right. All right, come here, come here. And, hey, that should have definitely been a crit. Come on, come. Oh, these vines are always getting in my way. There we go. Nope. Oh, that really, that really should have been a crit. I disagree. <laughs> Ooh, a bee nest. That's very nice. I don't know how much... Ooh, good, some eggs right off the bat. Um, I don't know how much we're going to be using, honey. Um, there's a little bit that's used for one of the castle recipes, uh, or specifically a beehive. Um, but I don't know... That's going to be certainly late game, and I don't know what we're going to be doing uh, with honey outside of that. i got some cows over here. I'll leave them alone for now. Small cave system here, hopefully with some, yes, exposed coal. All right, doesn't look like it's gonna end up being too, too much, but enough for some torches. We'll also collect some extra stone while we're here uh, so we can get that started on smelting, get some stone tools, uh, and we'll be, I think, in some pretty good shape. Okay. Got a little bit of extra stone here, and we'll see if there's any iron here. Obviously, we don't have a stone pickaxe right on us, um, but if we know there's iron here, that we can come back. Is it? No, there must be a deeper cave nearby for that zombie to... Oh, yep. There it is right there. Oh, some extra coal as well. Oh, oh my goodness. Hello there. Oh, ah, nope. That's not a lab. Okay, we're fine. That was not... Uh, super duper scary, but uh, caught me off guard, certainly, seeing that. Where are you coming from? Okay. There we go. Where are you? Are you? Oh, right out of there. Okay. Well, good for you. Um, it looks like it's starting to get dark, but I can't tell how much of that is the shader. It does make it a little hard to tell exactly what time of day it is, since it doesn't, the sun doesn't go right all the way over us. I did see a little bit more coal there, but I think we're going to go ahead and leave it alone for now uh, and go back to the wagon. But it's nice to know there's some good surface level caves right here. Hopefully that'll give uh, a nice expansive cave system down below um, to get us started on uh, proper mining for things like more iron, more coal, uh, and as we get deeper, things like gold and stuff. Okay, 
let's make a couple of torches. I don't want to waste our coal that we do have, the little bit that we were able to locate. <clears throat> we got a feather, which is fantastic. Um, go ahead and start cooking some chicken. Uh, we'll do one more. That's fine. Uh, that can go in there. Eggs can go in there. I like my cobble there. Get our settlement site recipes. Put the other feather away. And it should be about time to sleep. Now the moon's out. Perfect. So now that we've got our site recipes, let's take a look at what we're working with. So this is going to tell us all the things that we need for all of the structures as we expand our town. These are the recipes that we're going to put into the site planners to construct things. Uh, we definitely want to build either a mine or a lumber, lumber mill first. That'll kind of depend on how much iron we find, I think, um, as well as how quickly we're able to get a pretty good amount of stone, because the lumber mill requires a lot of logs, more logs than the mine anyway. Uh, but logs are pretty easy to get, whereas stone is a little bit time-consuming, requires the double resources of having fuel. So we'll see whether we get a full stack of stone or just a nice even 16. Um, for the moment, we're going to eat a mutton. And go back over to these caves. Actually, first, we're definitely going to want some stone tools, uh, especially if we're finding mobs already uh, venturing out to the surface to attack us. Get some stone up here, all right, and head back to those caves. That uh, floating island is going to be looming there for a while, tempting us uh, with its loot, but I definitely am going to want some full iron armor, I think, before we head over there, um, because I uh, am not particularly good at fighting shulkers. Um, and you'll note, uh, a lot of people don't realize this, I think, but shulkers actually deal quite a bit of damage. Um, by the time normally you face shulkers, you know, you're in the end game. You're in the outer end. You've got full diamond armor, often enchanted. Um, you might even have high end enchantments, thanks to all the levels you get from the ender dragon fight. Um, so the levitation is what you're really worried about, falling from great heights and stuff like that. And even then, it kind of depends. Um, but if you're if you have no armor, shulkers deal quite a bit of damage. Um, so I'm gonna want at least some iron armor. I'm not too worried about falling because uh, they are kind of inside little uh, end fortress on that island. But uh, it's the it's the damage that I'm really concerned about. So we're gonna wait a bit before we take them on. Let's collect some coal so we have enough to smelt our stone and iron, and then we'll go down deeper and see if we can find some iron. Excellent. I always try to use the wooden pickaxe all the way up, uh, just for, you know, resource efficiency purposes, but I definitely... Ooh! Ooh! Look at that! That is such a nice find. I'm not even mad that this cave ends, because uh, that is... Is that a zombie? Zombie spawner. Right by... Ooh, and a music disc. Look at this. We, we are really set. Melons, that's a nice early food source. Gunpowder, wheat, okay, okay, I am excited. Let's get this coal and then go check some of these other caves for iron, but we'll need to remember uh, that this mob spawner is here because that will come in handy once we have a good setup going. We can get uh, a little bit of a grinder started. All right, let's head over here. That was that coal, but it looks like there's still plenty of caves to, to delve into. Um, over here, I think, is where I saw that other coal. Yes. Let's brighten this up real quick before I mine that up. Oh, some more coal. That's exposed. Come down here a little. Oh, I'm out of torches. Not a super safe place to craft more torches, but I'm not too worried. Okay, good. This does start to go uh, a good level deeper. Ooh, hi. That's okay. I'm not worried. <laughs> oh! Oh my gosh. Ow. Okay. Okay. We're in danger. This is this is very dangerous. Okay. All right. Nope. I'd like to not if that's okay. I'd really really rather not. <laughs> it's too early to die. <laughs> Get out of here. Get out of here. Oh man. I was so close to getting that skeleton to kill the creeper. All right, that's okay. That's okay. We already got a music disc. We don't need another. What I do need is you to die so I can heal. Okay. 
that was much more dangerous than I was uh, expecting to deal with right off the bat. Um, oh, hello, another creeper. This is just a very dangerous cave, my goodness. Is that another skeleton that I saw, or was that just me? Okay, it's just me. No iron yet. Lots of coal. Um, we're not using any world gen data packs. I guess I should go over. Uh, we're not using very many data packs at all, actually. Um, so we've got New in Town uh, by myself, as well as the New in Town Dimensions pre-release. We'll see whether that actually comes into effect. That's pretty late game stuff with the cost of the portal. Um, but we'll see if we get to explore any of those as we uh, get further on in this series. We're also using Dan Mizu's Potion of Spelunking data pack, um, just because it makes uh, kind of the mid to late game a little bit uh, more entertaining, a little bit faster. Uh, requires me to do less mining off screen uh, for extra diamonds and things like that. Um, so you can actually see how I'm getting it. Not uh, super du obviously not vanilla, uh, but I don't think it's super duper cheaty. Um, Dan Mizu's Potion of Spelunking in particular I'm a fan of um, in terms of balance. So hopefully that'll be entertaining for you guys. And then we're also playing with uh, Victoria Ricky's um, Harvest add-on for New in Town, which is for uh, unique structures that I can also build for our settlement. Um, we'll see whether we build those too. They're pretty expensive, um, but they do. They are really cool. They have uh, kind of their... Um, oh, good, some iron. Um, they have kind of an uh, inbuilt, independent uh, mining mechanic to them, which is really, really interesting. Um, super fun to play with. We'll see, again, they're pretty expensive recipes, so we'll see whether we actually get to use them. Um, but uh, we are playing with them, so they, we have that option. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of creepers. It's not like it's going to be hard to fight, but I just kind of am not in the mood right now <laughs> after that, uh, that initial concerning uh, encounter. I think I just want to find as much iron as I can and get out of here. So this zombie is much more manageable. And I think I see the glimmer of some iron off in the... Oh, oh, hello. Okay. Okay. Let's uh, not do that, if that's all right with you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, okay. Okay. And I, and I. Any more concerning fellas? I think we're okay. I'm going to make some more torches, light this room up, and then get that iron. Hopefully it's not nighttime when you return to the surface. Put that there, this here, that there, right here, and we'll call that good. Get this iron. Try not to suffocate under some gravel. Hello? Okay. I'll dig this up too, just so we can make sure we got it all. It should be pushed up to the surface of the gravel, but... Okay, good. Um, so we got that. That wasn't very much. So I, mean, I guess it was only four. Okay. One iron. I think after this, we'll go ahead and return to the surface and get started on a... Actually, I'll mine up some more stone on our way there. And then... Ooh, hello, iron. We'll get started on... <clears throat> constructing our first structure. Uh, looks like probably just going to be a lumber mill. Um, I think that's going to be the quickest uh, and make the most sense. And we're going to die. Okay, I really don't want to. Ooh, ooh, we have, we have too good a haul to die here. It looks like it might... Okay, it's still daytime. Okay. I don't know whether we got that last iron. Frankly, I'm not too concerned about it. Uh, let's just get a little bit more stone here. Maybe that coal. And we'll call it good. Here, skeleton, please leave me alone. Okay. Get this coal. And then we'll go back to the settlement. Okay. Look at that. Get a little bit more stone here. Ooh, come here. There it is. Okay. Let's uh, find a nice divot up back to the surface. Here we go. Okay. The floating island is going to be useful for orienting ourselves, I think. Um, keeping us uh, facing the right direction uh, to get back home or what have you. Alright, back to the wagon and we'll get started on cooking all of these resources. So I think first I am going to build another furnace. 
uh, just to speed things up. That's not where I wanted to put it. There we go. Uh, so we need 16 stone for the lumber mill, so we'll go ahead and do that. And then these iron, one, two, three, is plenty. And do some inventory management. So chest we'll put there, that's fine, bone. Uh, we'll plant those melon seeds right away. I'm going to leave the wheat for now um, as wheat instead of crafting it into bread. Oh, we got both kinds of music discs. I didn't even notice. That's pretty cool. Um, we'll put gunpowder up there because it is cool. Put those there. And let's get started on um, uh, growing these melons. So luckily we've got some water here. Uh, although, let's do... Let's see. I think I want the melons growing right here. And three. Beautiful. And then once we find some sugar cane, which I do need to go look for. One, two, three. Let's make a bucket while we're here. Put that there. And uh, let's go get some reeds before it gets too dark. Um, just because I like to have my, my sugar cane uh, growing uh, pretty early on because it does grow so slowly and you need so much. Um, once you actually start getting ready to enchant, you need bookshelves. Um, thankfully with New in Town we don't need to craft as many bookshelves, um, but still enough that I want to get started on growing them as soon as we can. So let's see, is there any over here? I don't see any, let's go over here. It is getting really dark. Hopefully we're okay. Oh, there's some over there, I think. It's so much darker. Oh boy, ooh. Two, two plants that are four tall, two sugar canes that are four tall right next to each other. That is some luck. That is uh, really impressive. I know there's uh, communities that look for really tall uh, cacti and sugarcane. Um, of course, four isn't super duper tall. I think it's the tallest that can naturally occur um, with a, a single uh, try um, in terms of uh, in world generation and how world generation is handled. Um, but uh, two right next to each other, I mean, that's not nothing. That's pretty cool. A uh, little bit better luck, and they might have uh, stacked on top of each other and been uh, an eight tall plant. That would have been really neat. All right, let's get to sleep before we get too many mobs spawning nearby. And then we should be almost ready for our uh, lumber mill. Um, we'll plant the sugar cane in a second, put that away. And let's see, so we're going to need this bucket. I'm going to craft another bucket so that I have it. And then eight iron ingots, that puts us at perfect. Uh, oh, we don't have enough logs. i got to chop some more logs and plant those saplings. Okay, so we have just a little bit more to do. Uh, before we can call it a day. Plant all these. Glorious. And uh, we'll go and chop down some trees, probably some swamp trees. I think that makes sense. Um, we'll go ahead and set everything that we do already have here. Uh, I need to make another crafting table, I know for sure. And get our building permit. Oh, nope, just one. Thank you. I think we'll put our lumber mill right here. Uh, so we got iron, we got stone, building permit, water bucket. So then we just need the 32 logs. Let's go chop down, well, we'll get that guy first. And then some swamp trees. I did not mean to waste a durability there. That is a bit unfortunate, but one durability is not going to change the world, especially for an ax. If it were an iron pickaxe, I might be a little bit more concerned, but uh, just a, just a stone axe. It's not the end of the world. All right, let's get some more logs. We need a total of 32. We have one on the wagon. Um, so really only a total of 31 that we need to collect right this second. Let's eat some chicken before we forget. I'm going to leave those cows alive. We'll probably corral them uh, later on. Um, either in preparation for crafting a butchery uh, with new in town or um, to corral them into the butchery if we've already made it. We'll see. 
how many cows are around because I know there were some over in the in the plains I believe oh come here there we go okay chop this one down and then one more solid solid oak and we should be good we can only use oak logs for all of our recipes oh yeah one more small oak will be good um but uh with that dark forest nearby that's actually really nice because once we build a lumber mill we can exchange dark oak logs for oak logs um at an equivalent exchange rate which means we'll be able to use less resources and less time to produce much much more logs uh which is just going to be uh super duper great um Stone, you know, you come across stone plenty, especially if you're strip mining a lot, you're looking for diamonds, you get tons of stone, or tons of cobblestone anyway, and therefore tons of coal um, that you can turn into the stone. So uh, mid-game, stone ends up not being much of a problem. It's the, the oak logs that take up most uh, of your collection time. So the easier it is to get a whole bunch, the better. And the lumber mill is going to help with that too. So let's put in the last ingredients. Lumber mill. And, ooh, wow, super close. Let's take off these nether scouts that have now emerged uh, to to attack our town. Uh, specifically, the one nether scout. Okay. Ooh, okay. There he is. So that was a uh, scout serving the tyrant uh, from the nether who seeks to, to attack and destroy our settlement. Uh, even before it has barely gotten started. But we fended him off. Uh, although more will come in the future, uh, and we now have our lumber mill. So now, as I said, we'll go ahead and start collecting dark oak logs from now on. Lumberer will turn those dark oak logs into oak logs, which he can use for all of our recipes. Uh, and in addition to that, every day at noon, he will provide um, 12 oak logs to our wagon. Um, so that will just help alleviate the grinding even further. Next up is going to be our mind. Let's do some inventory management real quick and take a look at what we have planned. All right. So we've got our lumber mill built. Next up, we'll build the mine. So we're going to want uh, a little bit more iron. We might actually already have enough. Yes, we do. So we have enough iron. So we'll collect more stone, a little bit more logs. We'll build our mine. That'll be next episode, though, probably some additional stuff as well, since that shouldn't be too too terribly difficult. Um, I hope you enjoyed this first episode. I hope you look forward to the rest of this series, which I, I hope will go on for quite a long while. There's plenty to do to develop our town. We'll probably try and get through quite a bit of the new in town advancement tree. Uh, this is only the beginning. We've got Peace in the Kingdom, 20 whole structures to build, uh, in addition to our castle of six wings, and then we've got, you know, the nether, the end, uh, the counter-offensive, the rest of the tyrant saga, and then maybe we'll actually get on to the dimensions. Um, I've got high hopes for this series, and I hope you do too, so please, uh, if you're enjoying, if you look forward to what's coming, leave a like, share this video, subscribe to keep on updated, uh, and I will see you next time.